Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here, and before I get to the topic of today's video, just want to settle a few things now. Uh, I hit 350 subscribers, I was at like 360, I think, so everyone was like saying, yup, gotta have the Joey Ryan lollipop. Then it came to my attention that my friends actually made uh, quite a few fake accounts. I think like 30 to 40 even, because I lost 40 subscribers yesterday, and uh, it was just him unsubscribing after I said I wasn't going to do it, but um... And it, it kind of makes sense, though, now. Like, it kind of is... It's all fair now. Like, I didn't get to 350, and uh, I don't have to eat the lollipop because you people are scamming me. I mean, come on. Gosh, you want me to have another man's lollipop in my mouth that bad? But, um, no hard feelings. I'm at 322. I'm so happy about that, really, that I'm over, I'm past 300. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm totally cool with it. Also, I didn't say it. I wrote it down in the comment section. But I will be doing a Q&A uh, due to the big milestone. So, I'm thinking I'm at Saturday Night Kickout 46. Uh, maybe in a few weeks for 50, I think I'm going to do it. Or if you want to see the Q&A now, please let me know. And uh, just start thinking of questions. And uh, if you guys want to see it a lot sooner, then by all means let me know. But <clears throat> to the topic of today's video, a lot of new talent going to different companies. Uh, Austin Aries, this was announced uh, yesterday, I think, but Austin Aries is returning to Ring of Honor. He will be in Las Vegas. Somebody posted a picture of him versus Nakamura that the Ring of Honor had announced it. It's not true, which is very unfortunate, but he's supposed to make a very big announcement, and uh, hopefully it's not just him going, oh, you know, Ring of Honor's the best, and then he leaves for NXT. NXT and WWE is the best. So, because that's exactly what Samoa Joe did. So, hopefully he stays in Ring of Honor for a while. Or, you know, big things go to WWE. That'd be really cool, I think. So, that was awesome. And then Global Force Wrestling is announcing some great stuff. Eric Young is going to be in the World Championship Tournament. He's got his sights set on it. And um, that's a good, you know, good acquisition. Uh, it seems a lot like TNA, guys, you know, which is kind of not disappointing. But it feels like a TNA invasion without the invasion part. So... Um, and then Mickey James was announced, so that kind of sucks because TNA did this whole storyline about how she's having one last match against James Storm and a partner of his choice with Magnus, so that kind of screwed TNA. They did this whole last match thing, finally happens, and she's already going in a tournament for the woman's title in GFW, so that kind of sucks for TNA, but it is exciting, and uh, if you're going to have a woman's uh, tournament, got to have it with Mickey James, I think, in my opinion, so... Um, some great talent going into companies, and uh, GFW, I'm, I'm sure they're going to pull more TNA guys, to be honest. Um, they said they were announcing a former WWE and TNA world champ, so I don't know if they meant Mickey James or um, RVD. I'm, I'm expecting RVD is the guy they call out, um, but yeah, I don't know if they if Mickey James was the announcement, because technically she is, I don't know if they count that as world, I don't know. But, um, we'll see. So, great news about Austin Aries and, uh, Eric Young, Mickey James. I'm really excited for matches they're going to be in. Austin Aries, you know, any guy in freaking Ring of Honor they throw at him, I'm sure will be an awesome match. So, I can't wait for that. So, let me know what you guys think about this, of Global Force Wrestling's new accusation and, uh, Ring of Honor. So, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 rocks. And, uh, as always, have a nice day. Thank you, guys.